solve the given Bernoulli differential equation, x multiplied by dy over dx plus y is equal to 1 over y to the power of 2. So first we're going to put our equation into this format. So for our first step, it's going to be equal to dy over dx, so we're dividing our x by our other terms, plus y over x, which is equal to y to the power of negative 2 divided by x. So now we can set our p of x equal to 1 over x, our q of x equal to 1 over x, and our n equal to negative 2. So for our second step, we're going to set our v equal to y to the power of 1 minus negative 2. So we get y to the power of 3. And now we're going to rewrite this in terms of y. So our y is equal to v to the power of 1 third. And now we're going to take the derivative of our equation. So we're going to get dy over dx is equal to 1 third v to the power of negative 2 third dv over dx. So now we're going to take our dy over dx and we're going to substitute it into our equation. So we're going to get 1 third v to the power of negative 2 third dv over dx plus so we're going to substitute our y as v to the power of one third over x is equal to, so we're going to do the same thing with this y, so our v to the power of negative two third divided by x. So now we're going to simplify this. And this is going to equal dv over dx plus three over x times v is equal to 3 over x. So now if we look at this equation carefully, this is written in the format of dv over dx plus p of x times v is equal to q of x. So this is just a linear first order differential equation. So we can use our integrating factor to solve this linear equation. So we're gonna set our p of x equal to three over x and our q of x equal to three over x. And so our integrating factor is gonna be e to the power of the integral of our p of x, which is three divided by x dx. And this is going to be e to the power of 3 ln absolute value x, which is just equal to x to the power of 3. So now we're going to take our integrating factor and we're going to multiply our equation, all our terms of our equation, by x to the power of 3. So we're going to get x to the power of 3 dv dx plus 3 over x times v multiplied by x to the power of 3, which is equal to 3 over x multiplied by x to the power of 3. And if you look at this side, this is just a multiplication. So for example, if we set our u equal to x to the power of 3, that's u, times our dv over dx plus our v multiplied by our du over dx. So our u is going to be x to the power of 3 times our v is just going to be our v, which is going to equal 3x to the power of 2. And now we can take the integral of this equation. So we're going to get x to the power of 3 times v which is equal to the integral of 3x to the power of 2. So after taking the integral, 
this is just gonna equal it's a simple interval so it's gonna be x to the power of 3 plus c and now we can take our v and we can substitute it back as our y to the power of 3 so this is x cubed times y to the power of 3 is equal to x cubed plus 3 so our final equation is going to be y is equal to x to the power of 3 plus c divided by x to the power of 3 So that's going to be our final equation. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.